Dhaka Mali likely to sign prisoner transfer, sending health workers deal during PM's visit. Bangladesh rolls out COVID booster dose on trial basis in Dhaka. U.S. sanctions on RAB might be politically motivated, doubts Bangladesh Human Rights Commission. Assalamu alaikum, this is Shafia Hawkbu welcoming you all to Evening News. You have just heard the headlines, now let's move on to the details. Bangladesh and Maldives are likely to sign a prisoner transfer agreement during the upcoming visit of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to Mali. The cabinet today also approved another draft agreement to send health workers to the Maldives from Bangladesh. The approval was given at the regular cabinet meeting held with Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in the chair. At a briefing, Cabinet Secretary Khandukar Anwarul Islam said since some Bangladeshis are now in Maldives prisons, the ministry brought the agreement before the Cabinet. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called upon the Border Guard Bangladesh personal to discharge duties with patriotism, honesty and discipline. The Premier made this call while virtually addressing the BGB Day ceremony at the Parliamentary Forces Paramilitary Forces Headquarters. She also urged the Border Security Force to keep in mind that discipline and chain of command is the key to a disciplined force. Apart from performing duties along the borders, Sheikh Hasina said one of BGB's responsibilities is to assist the administration in maintaining the domestic law and order situation. Pradesh Prem Shatota Singh Kalani and his this Daito Palon Corbin. Ectica Shopsha Morakta Habe, Singh Kala among chain of command, Singh Kala Baini, Shopche Gutupuno Talika Shopti. Kokono Singh Kala Bagat Kotabena, Tadimiji de Kotiabi. Chain of command, Menecholbin. Kotipaka Adesh Menechala, put it is Singh Kala Baini, Abusho Kotubu. Bangladesh has started administering the COVID booster dose to health workers on trial basis in capital Dhaka. Nurse Runu Veronica Costa was the first person in the country to receive the first COVID vaccine. She has now become the first person to receive a booster dose. Apart from Health Minister Zahid Malek, four other ministers received booster jabs at Bangladesh College of Physicians and Surgeons in Mohakali. The booster doses will initially be administered to citizens over the age of 60 and frontline workers. The health minister said registration for COVID booster dose will be started after the upgradation work of Shuroka app. Booster dose January Marshe, Amade Lagbe, January Marsh Pojunto, Tetalish Lokko, Amade Hate Akonace, Shat Lokko, Evo Amade Shamre Marshe, Amraro Duikuti dose, Pabo Pfizer. The other by Shalet, Amra Potom Quarter Mode, Aru Noikuti dose, Amra Pabo. April Mode, Amade Jita. Shutur person coverage is only there only. In Tokon Amanda Hatha Thakbe, Sharashur put it bish. National Human Rights Commission of Bangladesh has said the U.S. sanctions on the RAB and its officials might be a politically motivated agenda. RAB has been operating since 2004 as an elite force which never before was accused of human rights abuse and repression, said Dr. Kamaluddin Ahmed, permanent member of NHRC. He made the remark at a press conference today in Dhaka. Human rights violation issues are generally raised by global rights bodies and welfare organizations. However, the accusation coming from a country like the U.S. makes it look like a politically motivated decision, he added. কোন একটি দেশ আরেকটা দেশকে একটি বিষয় সিদ্ধান্ত নিয়ে জানিয়েছে যখনই আমরা দেখেছি এই ধরনের ঘটনা ঘটে তখন দেখা যায় যে কোন একটা দেশ এই ধরনের সিদ্ধান্তের ক্ষেত্রে আমরা অতীতের বিভিন্ন অবস্থা থেকে দেখেছি যে রাজনৈতিক একটা উদ্দেশ্য এর ভিতরে লুকিয়ে থাকে আমাদের সন্দেহ হচ্ছে যে এই ধরনের কোন একটি অবস্থান থাকতে পারে 
আমরা চারশো ছয়শো এ ধরনের কোনো রকম অভিযোগে আমরা নিজেরাই মনে করি যে এটা একটা কনফিউজিং BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokul Islam Alamgir has alleged that the ruling government is holding power, forcefully taking away all the rights of people. He came up with the allegations while addressing the party's Victory Day parade in the capital today. Hundreds of thousands of BNP leaders and activists took part in the Victory Day parade on the occasion of Golden Jubilee of the country's independence. After the procession, the BNP leaders said besides releasing Begum Khaled Azia from prison, they will restore democracy and people's civil rights through mass movement. After a halt of more than three years, Malaysia has reopened its door to Bangladeshi workers. Expatriates Welfare Minister Imran Ahmed and Malaysian Minister for Human Resources Saravanan Murugan signed a memorandum of understanding in this regard in Kuala Lumpur today. The new deal is expected to reduce migration costs for workers. Under the deal, Malaysian employers will bear all costs of Bangladeshi workers. The International Monetary Fund has slightly raised its projection for the economic growth of Bangladesh to 6.6% for this fiscal year. The Washington-based multilateral lender came up with the projection at a press briefing at a Taka hotel today. The rising economic activities and a rebound of exporting earnings are the major reasons for raising the projection of the GDP growth, said Rahul Anand, division chief in the IMF's Asia and Pacific Department. The projection, however, is still lower than the government's target of 7.2%. The U.S. has appointed Peter D. Haas as the new ambassador to Bangladesh, according to a statement from the Congress. Haas will replace Earl Miller, who was appointed as the U.S. ambassador in 2018. Haas previously served as acting assistant secretary of state for economic and business affairs. International news. Taliban officials have appealed for international aid to curb the increasing refugee crisis due to the worsening economic situation in Afghanistan. During a gathering marking International Refugee Day in Kabul, Taliban Deputy Foreign Minister Sher Mohammad Abbas Tanigzai said the freezing of Afghanistan's assets by the U.S. government was mostly hurting ordinary Afghans. He also said that if the international community wanted to control the migration crisis in Afghanistan, it must restart working on the basic infrastructure of the country to persuade Afghans to return. Cricket the members of the Bangladesh cricket team underwent their fourth and final COVID screening on Sunday. Today is the ninth day of quarantine and cricketers will be allowed to join practice if everyone returns with COVID negative results. Fast bowler Shoriful Islam sought blessings from the fans so that all of the players test COVID negative. Before ending, let's have a look on the headlines once again. Dhaka Mali likely to sign prisoner transfer, sending health workers deal during PM's visit. Bangladesh rolls out COVID booster dose on trial bases in Dhaka. US sanctions on RAB might be politically motivated doubts Bangladesh Human Rights Commission. And that's all from the newsroom for now. To know updates, videos of this bulletin, visit our website www.ntpbd.com. Besides, visit our YouTube and verified Facebook page for updates over NTV's all popular programs and bulletins. Our next bulletin, Shundar Khabur, will be aired in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Thank you for being with us. Have a good time.